This video will take a look at how you can use the um, screen sharing or application sharing tool in Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, you'll need to use Google Chrome to get this tool to work to its uh, maximum potential, um, which is why I've kind of made this secondary video to the interface and tool overview. So first thing we need to do is get into a Blackboard Collaborate session. I'll just use the course room. If we wanted to record our demonstration, uh, the big thing to remember is um, that we have to enable the recording, which is uh, again uh, available in the upper left corner. We'll click start recording and it, that'll change the stop. So when we're done, we'll click stop recording. Uh, we can enable our microphone, that way we, uh, the students can hear our audio, um, audio comments uh, over whatever we're showing or sharing with them, if you, or you could use video. Uh, the next thing we need to do is open the Collaborate panel, which is that bottom right purple tab in Collaborate. We'll go to the Share Content tab, and uh, now we'll click Share Application Screen. And I don't necessarily want to share a screen, I want to share a particular uh, application, so I'll click Application Window, and I want to share Microsoft Word. Um, so if I want to talk to an individual student about their paper, I could do that, or I want to give a demonstration of how to do something in a particular software. So I've picked the tool that I want to use and I click share. Um, and so what we see in Collaborate, I have to make it a little bit smaller, um, but what we see in Microsoft Word um, document. Um, so as I do things um, in Word, That's getting picked up by Collaborate and it'll be recorded. Um, my my go-to example for why I need to do this is sometimes I want to tell students how to use the insert page break function instead of um, hitting return three or four or five or however many times to get to that next page. Um, so just about any application, I haven't come across any that I know of yet, um, can be shared. So if you're doing, um, I'm thinking of my our accounting classes, uh, students are doing things in Microsoft Excel, or if you are in the art department and you're looking at some of the Adobe products, sometimes y you just need a video to kind of help students understand all the different tools available in some of those tools or softwares. Uh, anyway, so this is how uh, application and screen sharing works. Um, so the big thing is you have to remember to either share your screen or share a particular application. And the last thing I'll tell you about all this is just to remind you, to be able to do this to its maximum potential, you have to use Google Chrome for the screen and application sharing.